According to ICA Division Chief Benjamin Travis, my former handler Diana Burnwood has gone rogue, taking with her a valuable agency asset, a girl named Victoria. After months underground, Diana's safe house has been located, a heavily guarded mansion on the shores of Lake Michigan. My objective? Eliminate Diana and retrieve the girl. Personal note, Diana saved my life. Although the grounds for termination are just, I take no pride in this assignment. From here on out, I shall refer to her only as my target. I must not get personally involved. Birdie, once the agency's top intelligence man, in order to protect the girl, I need him as my eyes and ears. But his services won't come cheap. This man is a merchant. Quid pro quo. Everything comes with a price. To recruit him, I must first take out his business rival. Official contract or not, this king of Chinatown has to die. Birdie's intel is never wrong. A Midwestern arms manufacturer named Blake Dexter is in Chicago searching for Victoria. The agency would never share their secrets with outsiders. Someone else must have leaked the information. But who? I can't trust anyone. All I know is that the girl is innocent. She doesn't deserve this. I will infiltrate Blake Dexter's suite at the Terminus Hotel and learn the truth for myself. Then I shall decide on his fate. I underestimated the arms dealer, and now I'm paying the price. I must get out, reach street level, keep a low profile, escape in the crowd. The police are closing in. Time to regain focus. According to Birdie, strip club owner Dom Osmond is Blake Dexter's informant. He put the arms dealer on Victoria's trail. I will remove him from the equation before he causes any more damage. Personal note, Birdie did not give me this information out of the goodness of his heart. He has much to gain by Osmond's death. This is a fragile alliance. I have to tread carefully. Birdie has sold out Victoria to save his own life. Part of me understands this was never his fight. I shall deal with him later. For now, all that matters is the girl. I must get to her before Wade and take her somewhere safe. Nobody will stand in my way. The matchbox in Wade's pocket has led me to the Great Balls of Fire, a rowdy roadside bar on the outskirts of Hope, South Dakota. If I find Lenny, I find Victoria. I made a promise, to the girl and to a dying friend. So far, I have let them both down. I will make this right. Lenny, Dexter, Travis, they are all going to pay. Birdie, he took my silver ball as his payment for his services. Now he's giving them back. For some reason, he's reaching out. Can I trust him? Or has his allegiance shifted towards more lucrative business partners? No matter. Before I go after Lenny, I will reclaim my weapons. I have been adrift for too long. Lenny Dexter, outcast, black sheep. He took the girl to earn his father's admiration. Of all my enemies, he is the weakest link. Making him talk will not be a problem. But first I need to deal with his cougars. If I grab Lenny, they will surely try to interfere. Besides, they already know too much. Lenny has disclosed Victoria's position. I should deal with him once and for all. Yet there is little honor in preying on the weak. Whatever his fate should be, I need to decide now. The clock is ticking. Dexter Industries. They probably employ half of hope. This town was bought and paid for, and Blake Dexter was only too happy to write the check. Somewhere inside this factory, Victoria is being kept against her will. I need to move fast. 
I am getting closer. This is the black heart of Dexter Industries. Part of me dreads what I might find down here. Human experiments. Children as weapons. All the more reason to pull the plug. I will find Victoria and destroy all data that Dexter's researchers might have uncovered. This ends here. Sanchez, another victim of Dr. Ashford. Dexter ordered him to remove Victoria from the factory just as I was getting close. Right now, he is the best chance of finding her. I underestimated the Mexican once. It will not happen again. The Saints, one of Travis's pet projects. Elite female assassins specializing in large-scale covert operations. Working in pairs, they strike hard and fast, leaving no witnesses nor bodies behind. Their presence here tells me only one thing. Travis is getting desperate. Sheriff Skirky. Blake Dexter probably put him in office in exchange for his loyalty. Dexter Industries, the Cougars, the police. Hope is a town under siege. Someone ought to clean the place up. But I am not that man. The girl is my only responsibility. Skirky holds her somewhere inside the courthouse, probably the basement prison cells. I need to get inside. Victoria. I came so close. I need to escape, find Skirky, and force him to disclose Blake Dexter's location. The sheriff just signed his own death warrant. I know my destination. Blackwater Park. The end game is approaching. But first, I need to regain my focus. What I need is a new suit. And there is only one place to get it. Tom the Taylor. Blackwater Park. A building under siege. Dexter will be expecting my arrival. I took his son. If he is mad enough to take on the agency, would he also sacrifice Victoria to get back at me? I need to be careful. But one way or the other, this is where it ends. Blake Dexter. He will destroy the building and sacrifice his own men in a heartbeat before giving up Victoria. The only thing keeping him from leaving is Layla. I have to take him down before he realizes she will not be coming back. Diana, I have kept my promise. Victoria is safe. Her future is now her own. Only one thing remains. Travis. He is out there, hiding behind his ICA muscle. His cowardice only matched by his increasing paranoia. This is how it's supposed to be. Me. A target. A contract. I already know how this will end.